So today everybody I'm going to be providing you an update on my crypto portfolio. Now I'm no financial advisor just because I hold these coins does not mean they're going up in the future. I always make it clear that these are the coins I'm holding in the videos I make about these coins. But with that said let's jump right into it. So last time in my video I was holding a lot more coins the likes of uh, Coty, the likes of Request, the likes of Acropolis, all coins like that. And what actually happened was I took my profits on coins like ADA, all, um, all of the ones I just mentioned and so on, and reinvested it in other projects like LTO, ORN and Chili's. So despite making a very, very good decision in taking profits on the coin, you might think, because I reinvested it pretty much straight away, um, it wasn't actually as good as good a decision as it could have been. But nevertheless, my portfolio is now a lot more consolidated. And the reason for that is that I didn't want to have too many coins in different areas. I wanted to focus my money on the smaller coins and coins that I truly, truly believed in and the sort of ride or die coins. So first up, LTO Network. I've made very, very many videos on these guys, partnered with them once or twice. They're Europe's leading blockchain, a hybrid blockchain. They've got some great partners in the form of IBN, the United Nations, um, a few other great partners as well. They're involved in land registry, waste management, the Dutch administration use them. They've been proven to save money and so on. So they've got a lot of use cases. Use cases. Their current market cap is uh, $60 million, so quite low. They're an all coin. I'm currently down on them, but you know, long term, I believe that going forward, I pray that they're you know a good coin to hold as well because you can stake their coin on their mainnet and on Binance and get a 10% return. I decided that I would focus my money in this sort of crypto as opposed to other cryptos where I can't stake it and get a return um, going forward day by day. Obviously, staking is risky, so be careful. Secondly, I've decided to hold a lot of ORN, a terminal that collateralizes all the centralized and decentralized exchanges, and you're able to trade um, via their terminal you know, all of the exchanges at once. So you get the best price. You can trade arbitrage. You can do all cool stuff like that. As you can see, eight revenue sources. And I feel like if you look at them relative to a lot of the other uh, terminals that do a similar thing, ORN seems to be the best. Apparently, they're, you know, they've done a good job of convincing me, if not. And they're way, way lower market caps relative to the others. And they have a lot higher daily volume uh, at this stage in their development than the other exchanges that have gone on to become a lot bigger do. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. Do not buy these just because I'm holding them. Next up, Chili's, a fan token, NFTs, all of that stuff. I probably don't need to tell you what it is. But they've got a lot of partners with the sports teams. They release, you know, their socios marketplace for NFTs, sports related stuff. Um, cryptos, sports, big industries. Thank goodness. I like it. I'm here for the long term with this one. I have diluted my stake previously, as you all know, in Chili's because I've invested early on. It rocketed up. But now I'm holding what I have for the remainder of it. Next up, as I always say, I hold Crypto.com for their Visa card. And if you wanted to sign up to one of these brokers and if you wanted to sign up to Crypto.com, you could use my referral link down in the description below and you get $25 free crypto if you decided to stake and get a Ruby Red card or above. So I feel like crypto is a growing industry. I like having um, terminals that you can trade crypto on. And again, with this coin, I personally look at it and think relative to the likes of Binance and other exchanges that it's got a good uh, potential to grow going forward. Next up, there is Hero Coin. Now, I recently acquired these about two months ago. You know, they've gone up massively since. I've been trading them, day trading them, swing trading them. I've managed to increase my stake a bit as well, swing trading. And they're a decentralized gaming sector coin. I Check out my video on them for more details. They recently partnered with GreenTube. And then, you know, there's going to be interesting seeing what developments they have going forward. And finally, Koval. Don't want to talk about it. Losing a lot on this. We pray going forward that something good happens. Guys, I've got to dash off. Thank you. I hope you enjoy this crypto update on my portfolio. It wasn't to explain the cryptos or explain my decisions, but just to inform you guys on what I've done. And if you're looking to learn more about the coins I've invested in, please watch the videos on my channel as I have made several of them on these coins. Thank you.